special feeling in the studio tonight, and that can mean only one thing. It's time once again for a special visit from our old friend, Bill Nye the Science Guy. Let's go. <laughs> Bill! Bill! Nice to see you, nice to see you. So nice to be seen, John. It's nice to be here, and I'd like to announce to the audience, congratulations, our very own Bill Nye the Science Guy in two weeks, uh, February 28th is going to be on the David Letterman show. So, and I understand what you're going to, you're going to blow up some dogs or something, or what's going to, whatever, I'm sure it's going to be exciting. Exactly, John, and exactly. Looks exciting in the studio tonight. You've got a lot of apparatus here. Let's get right to it. Yes, John, now before we get to uh, any sort of science demonstration, we want oh, of to course. don oh. our safety oh, glasses. Oh, yes, the safety glasses. That's right. Passionate purple tonight. That's I right. Like I that. thought maybe it would pick up the purple kind of happening there in the shirt. I oh, and it certainly sort of... does, my fashion advisor. Thank you, Bill. You picked up the purple nicely. Now, the machines. We've got uh, yes. lots of stuff. Now, John, uh, to get our, going here. Indeed, on indeed. Our first demonstration involves a trash bag. Do you have one? Uh, geez, I'm fresh out, Bill. I'm sorry. Why, look who's here. It's oh, Ed Wyatt, oh, science oh, team oh, member. Oh, he has a trash yeah. bag. Thank you. Oh, no. John, excuse me just a moment. Oh, Ed, sure, Bill. I can't help but notice what a nice shirt you have on. Thank you, Bill. <laughs> Where did you get that, Ed? Well, Bill, I got it at the tiger shop at the Bon Marche. <laughs> Remarkable coincidence, because I'll be at the Bon Marche South Center tomorrow from noon to two, autographing shirts and stuff. They'll be on sale. It'll be a great time. Thanks, Ed. Hey, happy to be in a shameless promotion, Bill. Oh, boy. <laughs> John, John great, it made Bill. me do it. It made me do it. Sure. Sure. It made me do it. You don't want okay, to John? unload anything else? You got any Partridge family no. records you want to sell or anything like that? This uh, ordinary trash bag from the King 5... Uh, Came, what, directly Workers? from evening, I believe. No. Okay. And this is a hairdryer. You may not be familiar with it yourself. No, I've never... Yeah, I'm sure uh, your wife can help you, so we're filling... I've never seen one of these, yeah. Ordinary yeah. trash bag, filling it with hot air. Now, if you're a scientist at home, uh, feel free to do this. This works cool. That's just a few minutes, a little warm on top. I uh, turn this off. Oh, there it goes. And there you go. Oh, oh. It's getting stuck in the lights. Now, John, I bring it up because that's the first of our two concepts we need for Melting. tonight's... Okay, that's the first concept. Right, for tonight's dramatic thing. Yeah, now that is, John, you know, people traditionally say hot air rises. Yeah. But what's actually happening, cold air pulled down by gravity is squeezing the bag up. Okay, the concept balloon number up. one, cold that's air con squeezes. Squeezes, exactly. Oh, look, and it's, it's a boomerang bag. Oh, yeah, it's there we go. Right How about that? Fantastic. Okay, well. Now, John... Let's put it right down there. Okay. Uh, concept number two, cylindrical thing. Yeah. And then thing the same diameter, but this beautiful trout shape, kind of a oh, yes, exactly rainbow the word trout that I shape, would have, uh, airfoil shape. Yeah. Now, we turn on our wind machine, and you'll see it's free to pivot. Yeah. And the one with the least drag, you see, gets pulled toward the fan. Do you see that? The, the actual trout. cylindrical shapes, round shapes, have a lot of drag. Round shapes are a drag. Cold water. Cold I mean, air. Cold air. <laughs> squeezes. Squeezes. Okay. Now, John, here is a miniature wheeled boat of science. Okay. So and concept. on this, you see, we have window screens. Now, yeah. window screens, you'd say, they don't have a lot of drag. But, John, you, you see, you can blow right through them. Yeah. But actually, John, because they're, the wires are made of round shapes, they actually have quite a bit of drag. As we turn on our wind machine, oh, the boat okay. sails into the science sunset. And, oh, yeah. oh, oh, oh. <laughs> off the edge of the air. That's right. Now, John. John, we have our two concepts, right? Hot air, the cold air squeezes, squeezes pushes it up. Round things are a drag. Round things have a lot of drag. Now, oh, John? Oh, have a lot of drag. I okay. have here uh, an ordinary King 5 film can. Yeah. And I'm going to pour in some highly inflammable, uh, inflammable, uh, uh, denatured alcohol, oh, ethanol, with an azeotrope in it that wow. makes it uh, unpotable. Uh, used to now, live on that stuff. Yeah. That's great stuff. Yeah. When you were stationed out there, did you? Yeah, yeah. So, John, this will be our source of heat for the hot Ooh, air rising, wow. the cold air yes. squeezing. Yes. Oh, what do we got over here, Bill? Now, John, I have here... We got a little barbecue going. Yeah, we have here a little... Uh, an incinerator. We have here a cylinder. Yeah. Let me get the heat going. Okay, yeah, so we, here we go. A cylinder now with fire in it. A cylinder with fire in it. Now, John, this cylinder 
is window screens. It's all so these it's round wires, all okay. these lovely round wires. Now, Same John, concept, we yeah. are about to create a tornado of fire. Oh, boy, the tornado of fire. I can't wait. Okay, Bill, bring, oh, plug it in first. There, okay, good. Now, he activates. Now, let's see it tornado. Is it turn? Ooh, oh, oh, whoa. Tornado of fire, Bill Nye, the science guy. Congratulations.